Formula One is considered by many to be the pinnacle of motorsport in the world. Modern F1 teams spend millions of dollars each year to develop and improve the car for optimal performance. However, safety was not always a priority when it came to innovation. Did you know that seat belts were not mandatory in Formula One until 1972? 52 drivers have actually died from incidents that occurred at an FIA World Championship event or while driving a Formula One car at other events. In recent years, the FIA, the governing body for motorsport, has put in place standards requiring innovation to improve safety. One of these recent improvements is the halo, the subject of this video. The halo is a barrier that keeps heavy items and debris out of a car's cockpit. It was made mandatory in all FIA-sanctioned open cockpit classes, including Formula E, Formula 2, Formula 3, and Formula 4. Other single-seater series across the world use it as well. This includes the Indy Car Series in the United States, where a clear windscreen is also used, the Japanese Super Formula Series, and the S5000 Series in Australia. There are three main elements to the halo. The front section at the center, which is called the V-transition, the tube across the cockpit, and the rear mounts. The structure is made from grade 5 titanium and mounts to the chassis at three locations. Although the design is heavily regulated, teams do have a certain area of freedom around the structure, allowing fairings to be fitted. If you closely observe the cars during the race, you will see that each team has a slightly different looking halo. According to the FIA, the halo can endure 125 kilonewtons of force from above for five seconds without any parts breaking off and it can absorb the same amount of force from the side. This force level is equivalent to 12 tons in weight. This is why the halo is referred to as the strongest element of the car. Now let's look at a few incidents where the halo potentially saved the life of a Formula One driver. In 2018, Alfa Romeo Sauber's Charles Leclerc was competing in his first Formula One season when he was involved in a massive collision at the Belgium Grand Prix. Leclerc's car was hit by Fernando Alonso's flying McLaren as they were braking for La Source. The front right wheel of Alonso collided with the halo of Leclerc as the McLaren went over the top of him. 3D simulations of the incident after the race showed that Charles Leclerc's head could have been hit by Fernando Alonso's wheel had the halo not been there. In 2020, Romain Grosjean's survival from a massive high-speed crash at the Bahrain Grand Prix had been lauded as proof of Formula One's commitment to safety. The Frenchman's car had been broken in two after a 53G hit and he was enveloped in a blaze before coming out of the car with just minor injuries. The metal barricades had speared his car, but the halo cockpit had protected his head. While the collision between title contenders Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen in the 2021 Italian Grand Prix appeared to be innocuous at first, further examination revealed the importance of the halo. Verstappen's car was thrown into the air and landed on top of Hamilton's Mercedes. The right rear wheel of Verstappen's car rotated on top of the halo and touched Hamilton's helmet. Had the halo not been there, Hamilton could have suffered major neck or head injury. The halo seems to have some great safety benefits, but many in the racing community have criticized the concept. Some believe that it takes away from the appearance of a Formula One race car. Others believe that it actually takes away from the safety of the car because it limits a driver's sight and it takes longer for a driver to jump out of the car in the event of an incident. Our opinion is that the halo's benefits outweigh these criticisms. The halo's bars are relatively thin because of the titanium structure. The crossbar will be outside of the driver's peripheral vision, while the center vertical pillar will disappear into the periphery while the driver is looking forward. With practice, drivers can learn how to efficiently exit the car with the halo in place. And honestly, the appearance of the halo is just something that we can all get used to. Now we want to hear your thoughts. Do you think the halo is good for Formula One? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.